Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. Danny from Inglorious Fishing. It's currently a Sunday afternoon. I'm down at the beach. I'm with Johnny 500. Johnny 500's in the background there. And today we're gonna go and be digging a few ragworm and logworm for a couple of sessions over the next few days because they give lovely weather, a nice high pressure coming through. Bit of a low pressure swings through on Monday, but then it's high pressure again. So good few days till Tuesday, Wednesday. So hopefully we'll have a few days of fishing, guys. Just at the top of the beach, I'm gonna get some lovely dry sand for my ragworm. Then we're gonna head down there. And we're gonna show you how we dig our ragworm, guys. So before I start going down there digging ragworm, what I like to do is at the top of the beach, I grab this dry, you can see it's a bit damp, but it's fairly, fairly dry. In fact, that's probably a little bit too damp. So if we go a little bit further up the beach, big spring tide, so the tide's been coming right up. Uh, this sort of stuff right here, you don't want it too dry like that. Well, that's not too bad actually it's a bit wet underneath so that's fine look so we grab a couple of scoops of that and what that does guys is that just thickens up your ragworm so uh that's a little bit too much in there you just want a little bit in there and what that does that dry sand because the ragworm come out wet as you're digging them straight away that softens uh dries them right up and it thickens them right out and it's a lot easier to put them on the hook personally i think that's the best way to keep your ragworm but uh everyone has their own preference and that's fine you know no one's right no one's wrong it's whatever's best for you a couple of little boats down here here's the little outlet this is uh part of our sewage system which comes out of here here gets a bit treated and then it comes out of here anyway let's get to these ragworm As you can see guys, Johnny's already started there. You had any yet, bud? One last. This place has been absolutely hammered. It's looked like an atomic bombs it here, the amount of craters there is from people digging. So it's gonna be hard digging today, but if anyone could do it, Mr. Inglorious will get these ragworm, the ragworm king. So guys, it's been really, really, really hard digging this as it has been an absolute nightmare. But we've already dug a few. Johnny's just got another one there. Nice little ragworm. Beauty. Ooh, oh, half a ragworm. Half a ragworm. He just dropped his <laughs> tail. Oh, beautiful little ragworm, that. And we've got some absolute monsters, we have. Show them, Johnny. A couple of your biggies. We've already dug a few guys for the simple reason it's just really hard. Check that out. That's the ragworm you want. That is a beautiful, beautiful ragworm. So we're getting some absolute giants here, uh, but not many. It's really, really hard digging. As you can see, this place has been absolutely ransacked. Just crater after crater after crater. And all we're doing is just going down. We're going about two forks deep at the moment because the ragworm are really deep. Uh, we, I don't know if that's due to the heat or whatever. It's still quite warm, but yeah, they're really, really deep at the moment, guys. So uh, we're going to keep going at it. And hopefully, we can get a few more. So guys, what Johnny's doing here, he's clearing out a section ready for us so we can come on here with the forks. What I'm doing is I'm just digging a straight trench, guys. And then what we'll do is, once you've dug the straight trench, you've got it quite deep and clean. If you come off the side of your trench, it makes digging 10 times easier, guys. And it's a lot easier to get your ragworm. And you don't gas yourself out as much. So I'm going to get straight to it and hopefully we'll get some ragworm. And that is what we're after. Beautiful sized ragworm that. K2 
catch any fish. Prime UK sea fish and bait, guys. I don't think that there's anything else other than verm that is better than ragworm. Um, verm being rock baked. I don't think you get it in the UK, guys, but we get it here in the Channel Islands, and it is the most best bait you can get. A lot tougher than ragworm, a lot harder to dig than ragworm, but certainly worth it. Anyway, let's try and get a few more of these king rag. You beauty. So guys, there's a quick view of the worms. Got a fair few there, to be fair. Got enough for a fishing session for me and Johnny anyway, so that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, beautiful ragworm, guys. We've got a few logworm as well. The next time you see us, we're going to be fishing, and hopefully we catch something. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. So, we are now currently going to go fishing. It's currently blowing a force four to five southeast wind. So, we're trying to find shelter, and where we're going to fish over, guys, is over there. We're going to give it a go over there. Uh, we know that you get bream, wrasse, uh, gilt, red mullet, you name it, you're going to get it over there. So we're going to go over there, give it a go, and hopefully that wind don't hamper us too much. We're just getting everything ready. Johnny's just getting everything out the van. I'm just going to get everything off of my van. We've got all the ragworm, we've got some black log and some razor fish as well. And we've got some logworm as well, so uh, some uh, yellow tail logworm. So uh, yeah, hopefully we get something. Let's go get these fish. Let's go. So guys, we ain't fishing where we said, we're actually fishing where we've parked the vans instead. Uh, there's a couple of other people that's arrived there, so we've decided just to stay here. First fish already, lovely little wrasse there. I'll just turn it around, it's got a bit of sand on it. Beautiful little wrasse there, lovely collars to it. Fantastic looking fish, but we're gonna get that straight back and hopefully get one 10 times as big. Let's get them. So guys, three rods out so far, two of them are mine, one of them's Johnny's. Johnny's just setting up his second one. We've had that one wrasse so far, that was on a rag and logworm cocktail. There's the ragworm that I dug earlier with Johnny. Quite a lot of ragworm in there. We did all right actually, to be fair, we did all right. So uh, I'm using the Tronic Pro Gorilla Rod, 13 foot, four to seven ounce, and the Beach, Ugly Stick Beach Caster, and that's a four to eight ounce rod guys, 12 foot. So yeah, hopefully we get a few fish and uh, I'm after a gill, that's what I want, but hopefully we can get one. We're using running ledges on our rods, so that's the rigs. I'll give you a run through and show them when they come up. And yeah, let's get these fish. Where's Johnny's fish on? He says he never uh, catches here. It's about time. It's about time, eh? Yeah, well, I haven't caught it yet. Yeah, well, <laughs> hopefully there's something there. It looked like there was something there. Hopefully it's something different to a wrasse. What is that? That's yeah, a wrasse. Rass. It's not a bad one though, mate. Nice little wrasse, lovely colours to it. Lovely yellows. Look at that. It's not a bad little wrasse. Beautiful, lovely looking wrasse. Look at that. Get out. Johnny's first fish. He'll get that off the hook and get it back out. Lovely looking wrasse. They're a prime predator around here. Lots of food around here. We've got razor fish, you've got worms, Crabs, you name it, limpets, and that wood will crush yeah, them right there. Look at that teeth. That would just absolutely devour them. Check them out. Look, see them? Big, big, big teeth. Anyway, Johnny's going to get the hook out. We'll get that one back. Beautiful. There you go, guys. Johnny's got the hook out nicely. That fish is going to go back, no problem. Fantastic. Get her back, Johnny. Get her back. Let's get some more. As I said earlier, I'll just give you a run through of the rig. What my reels have got, they've got 25 pound mono on. And then what we have on the business end, we've just got a bead to a zip slider with a five ounce uh, weight, pair weight, to another bead to a 250 pound break and strain swivel. And then I've probably got a one and a half to two foot trace, probably two foot trace down to a size one hook. And we just got ragworm on and black log check that out how any bass or gilt egg could resist that guys i don't know but yeah let's get that out and hopefully we get one well guys we've seen johnny's rod going off and check that out a beautiful beautiful red mullet got orange stripes check that colors on that one out eh? sometimes they're quite pale that is a beautiful color red nicely hooked uh we're trying not to get rid of its scales guys because otherwise they don't go back but look at that for a fish 
beautiful looking fish that is guys so we're gonna get that straight back johnny don't want to keep it for his teeth it would have been an eater it should go back johnny he should turn around and go back yeah, it's gonna go. he's full of him. he's full of beans yeah look he's going there you go and he's off guys you beauty that's what we want to see he's gone back he's turned around and he's swimming for another day let's get some more what a lovely fish that was so everyone beautiful little session so far johnny's just informed me that that was his first ever red mullet didn't even realize that so congratulations on that it was My a nice little red best. yeah personal best yeah it was a nice red mullet that wind is starting to die down guys we don't know if we're going to fish here for the whole night we might actually go into st Sampson's harbour um because it's a 9.6 9.7 meter tide so you do get quite a lot of fish in the harbour when it's those big tides so we might go and give that a go yet we're not quite sure we'll still fish here for now but hopefully something jumps on the rod we're still getting bites so hopefully we get one of these gilt we've got the red mullet we just want the gilt now so guys we got all the rods packed up johnny's just packing up his rods we are going to move round to the other side guys and we're going to be fishing where those boats are right over there that's where i normally fish that's where i had the bass last time so uh next stop you'll see us we'll be over there guys let's go get them so guys new location we're at the new fishing spot we didn't go down to the bridge harbour in the end we're fishing at the long store and we're fishing onto a beach rough ground sand and weed and a couple of rocks and we've got our ragworm baits out four rods out guys nothing as such yet no bites yet but i'm still hopeful we get something we've had bass here we've had bream we've had red mullet so we definitely do get fish here so hopefully one of these rods starts screaming off and something takes our bait guys so uh, i'll bring you back once we start getting some fish so guys johnny's got fish on beautiful first fish down here fantastic mate see what it is oh is what? it what is it is it a gill it's a bream. is it a gill it's bring a it up bring it up bring take it up the rod, take the rod. I thought it was a bloody gill. Yep. Oh man. A nice coochie's bream though. Oh, it's just popped the hook. Fish. Johnny got excited then. Oh. Fantastic fish. Beautiful little coochies. Johnny got excited then. He <laughs> thought he had a... Uh... Calm down. There we are, guys. Yeah. Lovely coochie's bream that probably about half a pound something like that, three quarters of a pound but nevertheless magnificent fish beautiful red beautiful blue across the uh top of the head there and also running down the dorsal fin it's a lovely representation of a coach's bream there guys fantastic well done johnny lovely jubbly you thought it was the gilt oh man i would have gone for a swim he would have gone for a swim anyway we're gonna get him back you don't want him me nah, 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 nah. nah get him back mate get him back oh he's full of life straight back he goes let's try and get johnny that gill go on mate might be a bass oh guys johnny's got fish on this rod took his rod like anything before here it comes watch out is that a gill is it a gill it's a gill it's a gill no. it's a gill to bring your swimmer my boy <laughs> Go for that swim! <laughs> I told you we'd get him here, mate! I told you, you beauty! Look and at that! Is, and this is a keeper as well. Guilted! I told you it was a guilt. You can get him. You can get him. You beauty! Guilted Breen! Don't let it go in! Bloody hell! You're going for a swim, yeah? I am going for a swim, mate. Yeah? I am going for oh, a swim. Oh, I'm going to record this! Oh, she's going for a swim! So guys, check that out. Johnny's had a red mullet with me tonight. And then next thing you know, he's had a gilt head. He has never caught a gilt head before. So there you are. Check that out for a mouth. Fantastic crushing pads. He actually had it on black log, eh? Yes, uh, just not straight black, black log, yeah. Yeah, yellow tails. What they call yellow tails. But yeah, just normal blow log, guys. Fantastic. Lovely gilt head bream. Now, Johnny says he's going to go for a swim. Are I you going to go for a swim? Yes, I did make a promise. He's My first guilt, I will go for a swim. He's going for a there swim, we go. guys. We'll have to get that on record. <laughs> but first of all, we, hopefully we can get a few more of these gilts. If there's one, there's going to be another. They're a shoal and fish. So hopefully we can get a bigger one. Let's get them. 
You beauty, Johnny. Go that side, Johnny. Go that side. Go under my rod. Johnny's in again, guys. Johnny's in again. Johnny's in again, and that went well. That went well. Be careful. That's a big fish. Be careful, Johnny. Be careful. Rear it up slowly. Slowly. Yeah, you're the You're there. It's another gilt. Bring it up. Bring it up. Is it a gilt? Is it another one? I think it is. I think it's another. It is. It's another gilt. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Johnny with another gilt head bream, guys. He's never caught one before, and now he's got two. Oh, and the going. hooks just came out of its mouth again. Well, would you Adam and Eve it? Ah, well done, Johnny. You're definitely sure, going for man. a swim now, mate. I'll have to do the backstroke. You'll have to do the backstroke. Check that out. He's over the moon. Look, that's another one. Number two. Another gilt head bream. That's another eater, Johnny. Another eater. Have that, don't drop him. Anyway, guys, we'll give you a better show of that. We said we'd get gilts tonight, and it's happened. Let's That's get you a better life. show. You happy? Oh, <laughs> two gilts in one night. You must be joking. And a red. And a red. Over the moon. So, guys, we finished the fishing session. Johnny's had two new species tonight. Red mullet and gilthead bream, and he caught two of the gilthead bream as well, so he's going to be eating well tomorrow. But that only means one thing, guys. It's time for Johnny to go for a swim. Let's head to the water. Well, guys, check this out. Johnny is a man of his word. Look at that fine figure of a man. Look, running down to the beach. The gilthead king. Don't get nipped by gilthead in there. Oh, he's straight in, look. you got to swim, Johnny! Oh, he's in! He's in! He's in, guys! <laughs> the Guilt and King has done it! Fair play to him! He did it, guys! Fair play to Johnny 500! That's what happens when you catch Guilt Heads! Fair play, mate! Fair play! Fair play! I've got to give you that one, at least you did it. We're going to have to start calling him Jenny instead of Johnny after how cold the water is. <laughs> Look at that. Done it. That's what you call a man that's happy that he's caught gilt heads. And a red. So guys, there you are. Mr. 500. He went for a swim, guys. So uh, I don't know if this is going to be enough to make a video. If it ain't, we'll see you tomorrow. But if it is, thanks for tuning in, guys. We really appreciate it. So, yeah, if we don't see you tomorrow, that means it's the end of the video. If you do see us, that means we're fishing again. <laughs>